Hi, my name is Steve Stetson. Uh, I'm a teacher with the Elk Grove Unified School District here at the Virtual Academy. Today I'm sharing a two-part video series uh, that may help with the PE log signature requirement. Uh, this semester, Elk Grove Unified School District is no longer allowing typed on the document digital signatures in that manner. It does need to be an actual signature. Uh, for those households that have a printer, that shouldn't present a problem. Uh, print the PE log, sign it, take a picture of it, and re-upload it into the uh, student assignment, and then that'll take care of it. And I'm doing my particular one bi-weekly, other I'm sorry, bi-monthly, every two weeks. Uh, some other teachers may be doing it weekly. This particular video is going to be the instruction on how to turn your signature into a picture file image uh, using a student Chromebook like the one I have in front of me and it's intended for parent consumption only. Uh, it will be sent out using parent view uh, synergy mail and not provided to students. So again, it's intended for households that don't have a printer and for parents uh, consumption only. I won't be providing this material to the students. I'll send it uh, as a link uh, to parents using parent view. So your first step is to sign a piece of paper, preferably a white document, and have it ready to go with your student's uh, Chromebook. And you're going to end up taking a picture and cropping the picture of the signature as the concept here. So I want this relatively centered. I mean, I'm producing a video here, but it's okay to cover your face and take the picture uh, with it. So I'll do that now. Okay, to get that picture, you want the signature pretty close to the camera. And you're gonna take your mouse down to the finder, that's that circle in the left-hand corner. Click on it. Type in camera. And select the camera icon. And it brings up the camera software. Make sure it says photo, and this is the button you're going to press to take the picture. And when you have that up, try to get this as close to the camera as possible so that it has most of your signature block on it. And you kind of got to, okay, I'm on this one, figure out the mechanics behind it. And take a picture of it like that and to check it you come down and click here and type in files go to the file and then look in the camera and this should be your signature picture and the next step is we're going to crop this to make it just the picture Okay, for the next steps in this, you're going to, on the student Chromebook, head over to the launcher. It's this circle in the lower left-hand corner. Click on it once, and in the gap where the search bar where you typed camera before, you're going to type files. If you've accessed it before, it may show up as a shortcut down here already, and you won't have to actually type it. But click in here, and because we've been using the camera with the picture, it's going to be under the camera folder. So go into the camera folder and you're going to search around and usually it's the one that's dated today and close to the time that you took the picture or dated whatever date you did the picture if you're doing this on multiple days and you're going to open it up and when you take the picture hopefully you put the picture pretty close to the camera you're going to use this icon up here to crop and rotate and you're going to Push in your edges and try to center the signature into the rectangle pretty well. And when you do, you're going to hit done. And I suggest save as and create a new file name. And 
name it signature. Keep the original just in case you mess up. That way you don't have to retake the actual picture and save it. At this point, you can close this and check in here that you actually have a picture file with your signature. And that's uh, part one to this video series. Uh, the next one, we're going to do the insertion of the signature on the PE log document. And I'll show you how to do that in that next video. Again, this video is intended for parent consumption only, not students. Uh, it will not be disseminated to students. It'll be provided to parents through uh, Synergy email to parents only, and they can access that through their parent view. Uh, and it's intended for households that don't have a printer and need some sort of a workaround. Uh, if you have a printer, it's probably actually easier just to print the document and sign it and take a picture of it and then upload that photo. That'll be much faster. All right. Thank you.